welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Valentine's Day themed video as this week happened to contain Valentine's Day. This video was supposed to be a song and a music related video as I told a few people I was going to put out uh, specifically for Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, I have been sick for the past two weeks now, I think. So my voice is not at its prime and I would rather put out something that I'm really happy with. So eventually a song and music related content um, will come out, but for now, this is what I'm doing. So I don't remember if I touched much on my job in my welcome introduction video, um, but I do work with children. And as well, I have four children in my life whom I interact with uh, quite frequently in my personal life um, outside of work. I work for a company at a school <clears throat> doing uh, before and after school programming for children. So I always love doing little goodie bags, um, specifically around holiday themes. So I did one for Christmas, I did one for Halloween, I'm going to do one for Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm probably going to do one for Easter, but I thought how fitting I'm going to do this on camera. So if you guys have little ones around and you're stuck on what to do for them, you really want to do little things for them like this, this is a great way to get ideas. So let's get started. I'm going to scooch back a little bit here, move all of my stuff. So I made a trip to the dollar store. Um, <laughs> that in and of itself was a fun, I love doing dollar store trips, I love going and picking up things. I struggle with figuring out what exactly I want to put in little goodie bags for these kids because I don't have a lot of excess cash lying around to do really extravagant full on gifts for things, um, but I always like giving them little things. So, dollar store is like my best friend. I think everything in here cost around $25, like everything total, so it wasn't too bad and I made cards for the kids that I work with and I got cards for the kids that are in my personal life. So, let's dump this out and see, shall we? Alright, so I'm going to put the cards aside for now because they'll be the last thing that goes in the good guys. So obviously I got goodie bags. These are 25 cellophane bags with the tag included, or the, sorry, the tie included. For the kids at the school, I got two little game activities, different uh, patterns on them. So there's word searches, tic-tac-toes, connect the dots, a whole bunch of different little things and activities that they can do with these at home. There was six in each pack and they were $1.25 each. <clears throat> For the kids in my personal life, I got little trinkets, again, from the dollar store. So I got little ceramic, I think. I think they're ceramic. Doesn't say. Little ceramic decorations um, for each of them. So I got a teddy bear and a monkey as well as a frog and a fox. And I thought these were super cute. They were $2 each, but they are really adorable. Lastly, to fill the bag, I got a little Russell Stover, oh, sorry, not Russell Stover, it's a Gagnon, um marshmallow dark chocolate little candy thing. I don't even know what you want to call them. It's literally just marshmallow covered in dark chocolate. I think it's hearts. These are peanut free and gluten free, which is really important because I have a child who I work with who is anaphylactic to peanuts and tree nuts, so I have to be really, really, really aware. These were extremely hard to find in a dollar store, but you can pretty much find them if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, um, especially if you, are, if you work with kids and you have to be peanut free. Definitely look for this brand. For the kids that I work with, I made 
each of them an individual card. And then when you open it, the card turns into a heart. Smiley face card on the inside there, which I thought was really cute. Another card. For the three siblings that I have, I just got a little cute little card that says you've got mail on the outside of it. The blue little mouse. And for my godson, I got a teddy bear card that says I love you. So the biggest tip that I can possibly give you when you're doing goodie bags, especially for the amount of children or more that I'm doing, it's definitely essential to keep the garbage bag for the garbage. So, we start out opening the goodie bags themselves. I'm going to do the ones for the kids that I work with first, um, and then I will do the ones for my personal life. Come back. Yep. Another tip, watch for that. A lot of the times these cellophane bags will get stuck together because they're usually made in like a flat sheet. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so do the chocolate first. And then, oh, probably should open these. Oh, another thing, these were two for a dollar, so I got them at a pretty decent price. So then I'm going to put in one of these in their bag. And then I will put in their card. And then because their cards are so, are so large, just twist the top there. Should have ripped these apart before I started. It's my own fault. And one thing I always like to tell uh, parents, especially because I give these to the kids as they're leaving programs, I always tell the parents, don't worry, everything in here is peanut free. So that, that way if they have any worries about what's in here, they know that it's still safe for their kids to eat or to take home if their other family members have a peanut allergy. So definitely good to know. And I'm literally just going to completely repeat those steps until I have all of the work-related ones completed. I should make this clear, this is not a requirement for my job. Um, I don't get paid extra to give these kids things um, or anything like that. This is just completely out of my own um, wanting to. We are completely allowed to do this, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, I would never do this for one or two. It would always be for everyone. Everyone gets the same things. Um, and that kind of thing because I know how unfair that is and how that can come across as being uh, like favoritism. So that is not what I want to promote here at all. I just wanted to show you what I wanted to do. With me not being in school, these kids are literally what I do for a living. So I kind of want to show them that I do care despite the fact that they may not um, feel like that because if they're acting out, you know, I might be taking, um, they might feel like I'm too strict or whatever. So I want to make sure that they know that they're cared about. So I am done my work ones. So now that it's really easy to see, but the three things are in there. Um, I also do have an extra little game tablet, which I'm going to give to my godson since he is the only, only child in the, um, set of four kids that I have in my personal life. Moving on to theirs. So with the cards, they're obviously too large to fit in the bags, and with the three siblings, they only have one card. So again, I can't just put it in a singular bag, so I'll probably just give it to their mom so she can put it out. Um, and same with this, I'll just give it to his mom. Let's start with my godsons first. Um, it's pretty much the same process, again, that I just did with the school-age kids. Um, we're gonna put chocolate in there, 
where I'm gonna put the game tablet in there. And then I got him the teddy bear. So I got him the teddy bear. And that is going to go in his bag like that. And then I will tie it up. Um, and if you're worried, like if you're doing things like this and you've made personalized cards, like specifically personalized, um, you could staple the card on here, you could take the card on here, um, you could write their name on here. Um, that's what I did for Christmas for my school age kids. Um, whereas the school age kids for this time around, Valentine's ones, they're all generic bags, so they will get everything the same and there's nothing in it that's specifically personalized. But the only female child that I have in my personal life is my friend's daughter. And I got her the fox because I think, I don't know, I think she'll like it the best. For my friend's middle son, I got him the frog. And for my friend's youngest son, I got him the monkey. Because I feel like this one probably looks the most, like the youngest looking, looks more childish. Um, and he is a legitimate monkey. He is nuts. I love him, but he's nuts. I can say these things about him because I babysat him from the time he was six weeks old. And he was nuts then and he's nuts now. <laughs> no, I love them all. They're all lovely humans. I have a lot of growing to do still. All right, so that is basically it. There's really nothing too exciting that goes into these bags. Not really a lot of thought. Literally, I was like, oh, I should probably go and get Valentine's bag stuff. I went to the dollar store and I looked at what they had and I was like, okay, let's decide. I don't like to overload these bags with candy and chocolate and things like that. Even around Halloween, I think I only gave them one or two pieces of candy. Simply because um, I know that they're gonna get candy and treats and things in their own um, personal lives. So I don't think that they necessarily need to be given like buttloads of sugary stuff from me. Um, as well, for the kids at school, I really don't want to give them like loads and loads of it because I we are expected to be promoting healthy eating. Um, but like one piece or one or two pieces isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, especially from time to time, and parents are aware that I like doing this, so it's not a surprise to them either. I have a whole bunch of excess, like, these things. So I'm gonna put them in my, um, in with like my wrapping paper and things so that they don't get lost. Um, and I can use them again for next year, for honestly, whenever I want to use them, um, they could come in handy. So yeah, that is it. That is it, that is all. Um, I will hope that I do start feeling better so that I can um, put out um, covers of songs and things like that that I really want to do. Um, since that is something that I have been wanting to do and I've been planning to do, but unfortunately with me being sick and singing voice is just not there, <laughs> you know? It's just not where it needs to be for me to put out those videos. So they will be coming eventually. Um, I have some more uh, DIY stuff coming, so stay tuned. If there's anything that you'd like to see, let me know down below. Um, as well, if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. Um, I love watching people enjoy my content. Um, and if you aren't already, follow me over on my Instagram at Cat's Coffee and Comforts. Um, same way as it is here. So yeah, keep in touch and I will see you guys next week. Have a good one and happy Valentine's Day to whoever you are. Remember that I love you no matter what.